Oh man, it is 9.05 in the morning and I am going to the gym. I had a really productive day yesterday. I woke up at like 7.30. I uh, worked on some music stuff. Like I didn't record anything, but I worked on some music stuff. Uh, I did all the dishes. I went to the gym. I went to work. I had some fun, which is always important. But it was really weird. I spent most of the day just filled with existential dread. Don't know why it happened, whatever. But now it is only 9.05 in the morning and I am going to try and squeeze a workout in before I have to go to work at 11.45. That's not gonna go ham today, but I ain't gonna be a wussy. So I've been living in Turlock for um, 10 months now. I moved here in January uh, the second week of January, and we're in the second week of October, so it's been like 10 months exactly. Fucking hair. I have to say, I'm over it. This this isn't really my town, that's kind of why I want to move. But one thing I really, really hate about living here is all the fucking trains. I hear trains every night because the train tracks aren't too far from my house and they run right through town, so I'm just surrounded by trains all day long. I know some people out there like trains, but let me tell you, you like them a lot less when you hear the whistle blaring at 5 a.m. and they hold up all the traffic, and yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. My empty light came on. Although on the bright side of things, uh, I finally had the money from PayPal from that guitar I sold uh, become available. And I said, cool. So I decided to transfer it into my bank account. And then I got an email from PayPal saying there's a 72 hour waiting period for a transfer. And I think I'm in like hour 68 or something. I'm getting real close. I almost have money that was given to me. I think it's day 26 now, 26 days ago. I sold that guitar. I can understand why Venmo is becoming more popular. I can tell I have a pretty easy life when one of my uh, biggest decisions of the day is going to be what music I listen to at the gym. Because as soon as I get there, I'm just like, oh, what do I want to listen to? I just never know. And for someone who watches the needle drop so religiously, you figure I would always have plenty of music to listen to. But no, I'm just a swamp demon. I think that's gonna be today's video title. Ooh, taqueria. Love me a taco. Taco. Wildcat. Just call me Eli Cash. Jim's a little busier than anticipated, but I just got the best parking spot in the whole damn parking lot. Literally, right in front of the front door. This is mine now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, my ass feels thoroughly kicked. If anything, that will wake you the fuck up. I haven't had any coffee today, which is a sin. I haven't had any breakfast, which is less of a sin. I feel awake. Feels real nice. I didn't end up getting that second job. It's uh, it's happening. They're putting in my background check right now. And I'm kind of nervous that once I have a second job, I'm not really going to have any time to work out or play guitar or stuff like that. But yeah, I'm scared that if once I get the second job, I'm not going to have enough time to do anything. I don't think it's going to be the case, but it's a fear. But... It's not a fear I'm particularly concerned with at the moment because it's a seasonal position. So, worst case scenario is until January 1st when the holidays are over, I'm back to just having one job. And that's really all I want. I just want the job for those few months so I can uh, save up some money so I can move to 
Minneapolis, if that proves to be where I want to go, or to uh, Portland, or wherever, honestly. I just need to get out of California. That girl was definitely texting and driving. Have you ever understood texting and driving? Like, I get why people do it. I think it's stupid. I don't condone it. I've never understood how people do it. Like, I, I play seven different instruments. I have a massive amount of hand-eye coordination. I cannot drive and text. Like, I, I do not have the physical capability of doing it. My brain will not let me. How the fuck are y'all doing it? You guys ever have those things that uh, people always talk about how cool they are? Like bands or movies or TV show or whatever. People always talk about how absolutely fucking awesome it is. And then you give it a shot and it's just impossible for you to get into. Yeah, for me, that's Ty Seagal. Like, the musician. Like, I understand he's talented, and he writes a lot of songs, and he's very prolific, and he's always releasing stuff and what have you. I've tried to listen to his music, and I just cannot for the life of me get into it. A lot of angry shouts and fuzzy guitar. But, uh, it's not angry shouts and fuzzy guitar the way Jack White does it. It's like, angry shouts and fuzzy guitar the way, uh... Charles Manson impersonator does it. No offense to Ty Seagal. Seems like a cool guy. I'd chill with him. Lord, it is hot in this house. Why is it so fucking hot in here? 71 degrees. That's unacceptable. Gonna bring it down to a nice 68. And now, time for coffee. Cut to an hour later, and it is like, it's almost warm. It was like, it was chilly when I left for the gym. My, um, thermometer inside my car said uh uh 58 degrees i think this morning when i left for the gym and i have no idea what it is now let's find out 69 so yeah it's gone up a little <laughs> 69 um i have to go to work i will see you in about five hours uh, it's gonna be a good day. Let, let, let's see. Let, yeah, let's hope it's gonna be a good day. Oh my god. Just kidding. That was awful. Everything hurts. It sucks. I want to be in a coma. Uh, but I'm off now, so I'm gonna drive home. It's fucking hot in this house again. What the shit? 76 degrees. God. There. Okay. I think I still have some coffee left from this morning. I do. I'm gonna let that heat up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna hop beer. <laughs> 